Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Manuel Pereira Puebla and Juan Cassani. This very beautiful correspondence game was played in 1982. Manuel Pereira Puebla had white pieces and he started with d4. Juan Cassani played d5. Knight to f3, knight to f6, bishop to f4, c5, e3, e6, knight from b to d2, knight to c6, c3, bishop to d6, white to move. The most played move is bishop to g3. Sometimes white takes on d6. Manuel Pereira Puebla played knight to e5, black to move. Perhaps queen to c7 is not a bad move. But Juan Cassani couldn't stand the knight on e5. So he captured with the bishop. D takes on e5. Now black king's best defender must move to another square. Knight to d7. Knight to f3. Juan Cassani castle kingside. Bishop to d3. Black to move. Juan Cassani came up with a simple plan to win the pawn on e5. So he played queen to c7. The idea is very simple. Let's play a random move. Knight from c takes on e5, knight takes knight, knight takes knight, and after castling f6. Black is a pawn up. That was the plan. But white found the move that ruined the plan. Can you find that move too? Please pause and find the best move for white. How would you defend the pawn? What would you do? What did you find? There was a little surprise. Bishop takes on h7 check. King to h8. If king takes bishop, then knight to g5 check. If king goes to g6, then check, and after f5, pawn takes pawn and passan, King takes on f6, knight to h7 check, king to f7, bishop takes queen. And if king goes to g8, then queen to h5, rook to d8, queen takes on f7 check, king to h8, knight takes on e6, attacking the queen, another threat is queen takes on g7 check, mate. Knight on d takes on e5, queen to h5 check, king to g8, Knight takes queen. And what else? If king goes to h6, the knight takes on e6 check, winning the queen. Back to our game. Juan Cassani played king to h8. Knight to g5, clearing the path for the queen. Knight on c takes on e5. Bishop takes on e5. Knight takes on e5. The game would last longer if queen captured on e5. Then queen to h5. King takes knight, queen takes queen, king takes bishop. And white is winning in this variation too. In the game, we have knight takes on e5. Queen to h5, lining the queen with black king. g6, attacking the queen. White to move. White play the move and black resigned. The move is... Queen to h6, black resigned. Let's play a random move here. Bishop to d7. Bishop takes on g6. Check. King to g8. Queen to h7. Check. Mate. A beautiful little game. What do you think of this game? Did you find the killer move? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.